Hurts is set up for success. Now all he has to do is go out there and do it. Harry, I so appreciate your point here. And I really love the supporting <laughs> cast that Jalen Hurts has, right? It's a great <laughs> offensive line. He's got the weapons. But he might be the best football player in this division. He might be the best running back in this division. But quarterback? Like last year, you had Gardner Minshew in two starts have a 20 points higher QBR than Jalen Hurts. I can't believe I, again, get to come on this show, first take, and defend the Dallas Cowboys two years in a row. Oh, two days in a row. Boy. This is a rite of passage. <laughs> However, how are we not talking about Dak Prescott as the best quarterback mm. in this division when he's coming off career marks in passing touchdowns, completion percentage, led the team to the playoffs? I think that, yes, they got rid of Amari Cooper. CeeDee Lamb is going to be that guy. It's Dak Prescott as the best quarterback, and I don't think it's close. Here's the thing I'll say about the Dallas Cowboys. I, I just think that Dak Prescott has to be the best quarterback in this division in order for Jerry Jones and his team to get to where they want to go. With respect to what the Eagles have done around Jalen Hurts, they're in a different phase of their program building than where the Dallas Cowboys are at right now. It's championship or bust for the Cowboys because if they don't win it this year, you're talking about them having to move on from some core pieces and potentially moving on from their head coach and Mike McCarthy. That's not where the Philadelphia Eagles are. So while I do agree with Harry that Jalen Hurts is set up to have more success, there is a reason why the Cowboys are paying Dak Prescott $40 million a year. They're paying him to be a force multiplier. They're paying him to be the best quarterback in the division. So that's the thing that we have to see from Dak and the Dallas Cowboys. You can't just get fat off of the NFC East teams. you got to be able to beat teams outside of your division in order to get to where you're going. So with a lot of the stats that Emily rattled off about Dak Prescott, that's coming off of huge wins against NFC East opponents. And, guys, we acknowledge that last year that was a relatively low bar to clear. Things will be a little bit different this year. Dak Prescott is going going to be in the crosshairs in terms of being able to elevate the play of those around him. And that's why I say he has to have the best season of any quarterback in this division. Now, I need, Victoria, I need you for a second. Okay. Can you do me a favor? My eyes, I'm supposed to wear glasses. I don't have my contacts and glasses on. <laughs> All right, what I do you get, need? Can you, you need? read for me what the bottom of that screen says? The bottom of that screen says which NFC East quarterback will have the best season. The best season. Yeah. That mean, that factors in winning... Winning the division, yes. you know, all these those things factor into mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So yeah. if Jalen Hurts has the best roster and everyone is picking the Eagles to win the NFC East and they can be a team that possibly go further than just one round of playoff football, why wouldn't Jalen Hurts have the best season? Everybody That's is picking question. the Eagles to win the NFC East. It's, it's unanimous and unanimous. I so, can't so even say that word. Who, so, who do you so think shocking. will win the, the yeah. I think it'll be the yeah. Dallas Cowboys. And I think that Dak Prescott has an offensive coordinator. You think it'll be the Cowboys? I do. All and right. I think <laughs> I'm on the show. I have to defend the Cowboys. Let me ask you this question. <laughs> when was the last time the <laughs> NFC East had back, a back-to-back -back winner in that division? Okay, the a total <laughs> division is a mess. I'm not talking about this hot garbage of a division. I will say that Dak Prescott has an offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore that he vibes with, and I love I love this laugh track on the Wait, back of my sessions right now. It's incredible. Chris, Chris, do you do, uh, do you let us know what is what what is making you chuckle <laughs> so so much. Chris, uh, <laughs> guys, guys, I came to work just to get that laugh right there when Emily said the Cowboys. It is Friday. Because to Harry's question. To Harry's question, the last time the division had a repeat champ was 2004, nearly two decades ago. So there's a lot of yeah. turnover at the top. The one thing that I will say is going to be a bear for the Cowboys is the offensive line. Because you're talking about a unit that lost Connor Williams, a unit that lost Lyle Collins. That has been the strength of this team since Dak Prescott got there. I'm not quite sure that that's going to be the same. The other concern that I have is coaching. When it comes to end-of-game situations like we saw in the, in the week, wild card round of the playoffs. When it comes to the penalties, that is the other thing that could potentially hold this offense back. You didn't have one offense that had more accepted offensive penalties last year than the Dallas Cowboys. That usually doesn't change until you change the head coach. And so those have to be huge concerns about the Cowboys potentially repeating as division champs. And football is won at the line of scrimmage. Better offensive line, better defensive line, that belongs to the Philadelphia Eagles. That's why I think they will win the division. But in order for the Cowboys to be competitive and to get back into the postseason, Dak Prescott will have to have the best season of any quarterback in the division. Maybe it's not Mike McCarthy coaching them to the division title. Maybe it's Sean Payton, but they're still going to win it.
Oh. Oh. But I'll tell you this. The best season out of the NFC East when it comes to a quarterback, that's going to be Jalen Hurst this year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.